Hello, Trouble Bugs. We are Diane and Guillermo. We retire early from the U.S. in 2018 to travel the world in search of our forever home. We share our experiences, tips, and the realities of life abroad in hopes to inspire your own travels. In this video, we visit the town of Fuengirola in the beautiful Costa del Sol of southern Spain. We'll discover the lifestyle, amenities, and what there is to do in this charming and rather vibrant coastal town sought after by many expats from all over the world. Would we choose this neighborhood to live in? Let's find out. After a few months of traveling, we're back. And we've been enjoying the summer in Lisbon having our friends visit us from the U.S. and celebrating Guillermo's Big Five. -up. And after the success of our Seeking Paradise in Malaga video, we knew we needed to explore the area further. So, we're doing a deep dive into the neighborhoods of the Costa del Sol in Spain and also the Lisbon metro area in Portugal. If you have places you recommend, let us know in the comments. And of course, we'll continue to search other countries for our little piece of paradise to call home. To help us discover Fuengirola, we met a real estate agent that is an expert in the area, and she was able to answer all of our questions about living there. We're excited to introduce you to her and share all her insights about the neighborhoods and all the amazing services that she has to offer. If you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. It would mean a lot to us so we can continue to make content like this for you. So, without further ado, let's get to know Fuengirola. Fuengirola is a large town located in the center of the Costa del Sol, the province of Malaga, in the beautiful country of Spain. It's situated between the popular areas of Marbella and Malaga, it's a major tourist resort zone with more than eight kilometers of stunning beaches, rich history, vibrant culture, and home to a large English-speaking community. Fuengirola is especially popular with British and Irish expats, while Nordic and German inhabitants are also on the rise. It is considered the most international town in the province of Malaga, currently the home to people from 142 countries. I've been lucky enough to live in and travel to many different countries, and I can't stress how important it is to at least learn the basics of the local language. Even in the Costa del Sol, where English is widely spoken, knowing the native language can truly enrich your experience. I found the best way to learn is through the online language learning platform italki, who is the sponsor of this video. It's perfect to help travelers, expats, digital nomads, or anyone looking to immerse themselves in a different culture. italki offers one-on-one -on -one customized language lessons with certified native speaking teachers. And with more than 150 languages to choose from, italki makes sure you'll find the perfect teacher. The site is easy to navigate. You can search by lesson category, like conversational practice or grammar. You can also select a teacher based on their region and schedule a lesson time that is convenient for you or even an instant lesson. Hola! Hola, hola, hola! Buenas tardes! Buenas tardes! Buenas tardes. <laughs> My fantastic italki teacher, Lucia, who's a local living nearby, taught me useful phrases and offered insights into the culture, making our experience there even more special. And here's the best part italki offers a paper lesson system meaning no subscriptions or commitments with lessons price from as little as five dollars and you can get five dollars for free when you spend ten dollars on your first lesson using our exclusive promo code paradise5 the discounts are only available for the first 50 users so click the link below in our video description to start your language learning journey today We are off to the races from the Lisbon Airport, our current home base. It's an hour long flight for about 150 euros round trip on TAP Portugal. It's one of the perks of living here. Many flights are very affordable flying within Europe.
The arrival to Malaga Airport was a breeze. We followed the exit sign straight out of the terminal's parking lot where you can find taxis, trains, shuttle buses, and rideshare services. The easiest way to travel between Malaga Airport and Fuengirola is by train. It takes about 40 minutes with 10 stops and the cost is less than 5 euros. It is also the easiest way to commute between Fuengirola and Malaga Center. We took an Uber this time. Bolt is also available, but we noticed the cost is much higher than Lisbon. It cost us 33 euros from the airport to our hotel and it took about 20 minutes. We were excited to celebrate our 19th wedding anniversary this week. We wanted to be as close as possible to the ocean and the city center. We chose the IPV Palace Hotel because of the quiet location, yet close proximity to restaurants and bars of central Fuengirola. The service was great, our stay included a superb breakfast every morning, and the rooms were spacious with good views. The pool area was a nice treat, and access to the boardwalk and public beach was a bonus. To begin our trip, we were lucky to meet one of our viewers who happened to share our Seeking Paradise in Malaga video to her social media. She's Allison Norton, owner of Allison Norton Properties. She was kind enough to meet at her offices and answered a few questions about the house purchase process, mortgages, and Costa del Sol neighborhoods in and near Fuengirola. So, um, well, thank you for the opportunity. My name is Alison Norton. I have the agency here in the Cala Hills. I am firstly a mom of four, and um, we have moved from South Africa um, at the beginning of 2020 here in Spain. Um, we've worked in property for a number of years in South Africa and again here now in Spain. And we have this beautiful agency offering a whole multitude of services, not just own selling and listing houses. So very excited to be here and working in the space in beautiful Spain. Walkability is a desirable quality for us since we don't own a car. Fuenquirola delivers on that front. The town boasts a compact and pedestrian-friendly layout, allowing you to leisurely explore its charming streets at your own pace. You do need a car if you're out in the lines of La Marena or if you're out places in the countryside it's definitely easier to have a car but I think the public transport system here is very prevalent they run for long hours as well and they seem to be quite dependable not always but um, they are available to you so you can definitely come and live in certain sections of the coast and not require a vehicle. The highest concentration of restaurants in Fuengirola are in the Plaza de la Constitución and its surrounding streets. There are also bars, cafes, pizzerias, and all-day breakfast establishments. And don't forget the chiringuitos, or beach shacks. And try the espetos de sardinas, or skewered grilled sardines. You won't regret it. One of the most talked about places was the La Galeria Food Market. It has about a dozen or so outlets with different national and international culinary specialties and drinks. Fuengirola offers a delightful blend of old world charm and modern amenities. 
Along the colorful promenade, Fuengirola exhibits a tourist atmosphere with everything you need for entertainment and relaxation. And then the beach lifestyle. You know, we have a promenade here, or rather a boardwalk, that runs from the Cala de Mijas right the way through to Calahonda. That's six kilometers of boardwalk. So the people love that. You wake up in the morning, you've got this gorgeous ocean in front of you, and you start your job on the boardwalk. And that is then coupled with little bars and restaurants and everything along the way. At the western end of the beach is the imposing Sohail Castle. It overlooks the surrounding bay. Sitting on a small hill at 38 meters above sea level and used as a defensive building in the 10th and 11th centuries. Nowadays, it isn't just a site to enjoy a tourist visit, it is also the setting for some of the town's most popular events. The Fuengirola Biopark is a unique zoo immersion experience that lets you travel through the living conditions of more than 130 animal species. We didn't get to visit this biopark, but we did get to go to the one in Valencia a few years ago. Definitely worth a visit. Miremar Shopping Center is not too far from there. It's a huge mall with over 160 shops, bars, restaurants, a cinema, and a kid's play park. Apart from the general attractions of a tourist center, Fuengirola is home to a beautiful yacht harbor and fantastic golf courses. Fuengirola is home to over 400,000 square meters of public green zones and landscape areas. This town is super dog friendly. We saw dogs everywhere. Inside stores, inside restaurants, on leash, off leash, happy pups everywhere. Dog poop didn't seem to be an issue. We didn't see any accidents, but the city and surroundings look very clean. We really like that. And what I love about the beach, they've also got the doggy showers. Have you seen them on the beach? So your dog's there and he's full of sand and then you go to see the doggy showers, well impressed. So it's this little dome, so when your doggy's finished, whoop, and he showers himself down. So they're very, very dog friendly. They take them everywhere and they're allowed everywhere and it's, it's brilliant. The beaches of Fuengirola are highly regarded, thanks to their calm waters and golden sands. Two beaches most worthy of note are San Francisco Beach, which is the most popular on the Costa del Sol, thanks to its excellent services, and the beach of El Castillo, which sits at the foot of Sohel Castle. This beach is fully accessible to those with reduced mobility, and it is a great family beach. Fuengirola enjoys a Mediterranean climate characterized by mild winters and warm summers. The region boasts approximately 300 sunny days per year, making it an ideal location for those who prefer a pleasant and temperate climate. When it comes to medical care, Fuengirola has a well-developed healthcare system that caters to the needs of residents and expats. The town has modern medical facilities, health clinics, and pharmacies. There are many private emergency services available, 
and the Costa del Sol Hospital, located in Marbella, is renowned for its quality healthcare services, and it's only 20 minutes from Fuengirola by car. In terms of safety, Fuengirola is generally considered a safe place to live and visit. The town has a strong presence of local police and a well-established security infrastructure. Being the mom of two young kids, I feel very safe here. Taking my children to the beach in the afternoon and having long walks in the evening with our dogs, totally relaxed. And on the back of that, going out to a girls' night in Malaga and getting the train there, getting the train back late at night, walking around as three, four ladies on our own, never felt threatened and very comfortable. So it's a definite yes for me in the safety and security. Yeah. Yeah. As we are strongly considering southern Spain to buy a home for year-round living or as a winter getaway, we need to start learning about their local real estate market. And Allison was super helpful with information about the areas and upcoming projects in the Costa del Sol. So we have the most incredible new construction here on the coast, absolutely beautiful. And from a lot of builders that's been actually on the coast for a number of years as well. So um, a lot of sustainability and a lot of trust in those processes. To answer the question in terms of the time period, we already have some that are key ready, which is great. Um, alternatively, from start to finish is invariably 24 to 36 months. That's really the parameter in which you can work around. Um, in the initial stages of just releasing the projects, the prices are very keen as well obviously um, so that does happen and it occurs here and as the developments go along in terms of their development the prices do tend to increase Juan Girola offers a relatively affordable lifestyle compared to some of the popular expat destinations the cost of accommodation daily essentials and dining out is generally reasonable allowing you to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle without breaking the bank. If you're thinking of moving to the Costa del Sol of Spain and want a seamless transition, we were happily surprised that Allison offers complete 360 degree turnkey relocation services family that's coming to relocate to Spain from overseas with their children, with their animals, their whole lot of stock and barrel, how do they go about it? So the service that we offer entails that total transition assistance, everything from um, setting up bank accounts, getting your um, TIE cards, which is your ID card here, etc., putting your children into school, buying cars, understanding where your doctors, your dentists, everything. So that whole um, service offering of relocation we are um, giving to our clients oh, as well. That's perfect. So one-stop shop. That's, that's it. That's absolutely that's it. wonderful. She truly does offer a one-stop shop and has helped many expats make the move stress-free with the utmost professionalism and lots of fun too. If you would like more information on prices of home rentals and property sales, we highly recommend working with her. Comment below or message us for Allison's relocation brochure and a personal introduction. And if you reach out to her directly, don't forget to mention that Seeking Paradise Bugs sent you. We're loving the Costa del Sol more and more every time we visit. Fuengirola has many of the details we look for in a neighborhood to live. Clean wide streets, colorful and luscious parks, the friendliest people, long sunny days, and being able to see both the mountains and the ocean at the same time. It's what makes this a true favorite. The vibe is similar to Malaga, and we can see why so many foreigners are making it their home. Would we consider living there? Yes. Whether savoring the local cuisine, enjoying the long sandy beaches, or immersing yourself in the town's rich history, Fuengirola offers a remarkable experience as a resident or visitor. Let us know in the comments if you think this neighborhood would fit your lifestyle. As we continue our exploration of neighborhoods near Malaga, we can't wait to show you the town of Mijas in a video coming soon. 
It is a stunning gem also in the Spanish Costa del Sol, and we were truly charmed by its unique Andalusian architecture, characterized by its white buildings and colorful tiles. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time.